Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, and today we're back with some more control as part of our Sunday Fun Day playlist. And last time we caught the Red Lantern in a pile of clocks here in the bizarre kind of panopticon area, I think it is. And we also battled the Anchor in there. And it was quite a battle royale, but we did it. So now we need to return to Langston. But before we do, there are two items in our in our case files that we need to have a look at. There is where is it? The anchor procedures. There. Ocelot's anchor AI11 UE containment procedure. Black rock panelling successfully prevents manifestation of the sphere. What's the sphere? Ooh. Description slash altered effect. A Trotman style anchor made of iron with a wooden stock. Surface is rusted in places. Weighs 3,789 pounds. The item generates a persistent blank sphere, the purpose for which is currently unknown. This sphere is always generated at a precise point in relation to the item, specifically redacted horizontal feet and redacted vertical feet from the redacted of the anchor. Appendix. Uh, 4-25-1983, so the 25th of April. Redacted. Ranger First Class was dropped into the sphere wearing a diving suit with dedicated oxygen line at Redacted AMEST. After 10 minutes and 13 seconds inside the sphere, Redacted's oxygen line was cut at the sphere's border by an unseen force. All agents in the room during Redacted's entry into the sphere experienced vomiting vertigo and loss of fingernails within an hour of one another. Ranger Redacted has been declared MIA, presumed dead. What the hell? Loss of fingernails? What the hell? Oh my god. Okay, and then the other one was the hand chair procedures. Human hand chair AI63-KE. Containment procedure. Item must be kept in isolation, removed from other unsecure objects. Under no circumstances is the item to be sat in. Yes, I would feel a little bit edgy about sitting on that either way. Whether it was a, a normal chair or, uh, you know, a, a bizarre object. Okay. Description slash altered effect. A plastic seat shaped like a human hand from the 1960s. The hand's palm forms a seat with the fingers acting as the chair's back. The item affects gravitational forces, attracting and repelling objects near itself with a force of redacted. Its fingers have also been observed to change position, though too quickly to be witnessed or filmed. The item may be changing forms rather than moving. The item only displays these effects during full moons. Sample analysis confirms that it contains human genetic material. Oh, God. Background. Found in a warehouse at Redacted Albany, a team of ranger trainees, accompanied by an experienced field agent, were dispatched to investigate local rumours when they encountered the item. They successfully retrieved the item. See case PAI-6122 for details. Yes. Well, there you go. There you go. So now we need to go back to Langston. I don't like these concrete doors. They're a little bit freaky because they, they make me think they're going to, like, go over the top of me and I'll get squashed. I don't know if there's any more... Have we been over there? Maybe, maybe. Have we been in there? I think we have, actually. Has that been opened? Yes, it has. All right, all right, enough of my, enough of my nonsense. Let's get in there. Come on, Langston. Here's your, here's your weird objects. Let me in. Oh, here he is. Is our presence reassuring? Yes. What? No. I found all those missing altered items. Uh-huh. All of them? Uh-huh. Wow, you have a gift, ma'am. But those weren't all of the altered items missing from the Panopticon. Oh dear. The hiss must be making them restless. We've had several more containment breaches. How many of these things did he lose? How many? Just a couple. Should be no problem for you. I really appreciate your help. Really. Just. Super. The Flamingo, the Mannequin, and the Rubber Duck. Dude, how have you lost all these? Come on now. I'll see you later, Langston. Yeah. How have you lost I'll all those here. items for crying out loud? I mean, oh. let's have a look. Can we? Can we? 
Sealed Threshold Corridor, Prime Candidate Program and Protective Studies. I don't think we've been in Protective Studies, have we? Maybe. Um, okay. let's, let's have a look. Oh, so we can go straight to the Prime Candidate Program. That's not a bother. But where's the um, Protective Studies? Protective Studies in Research. Hmm, maybe we go there. Come on, just bloody hell. Stupid door. Okay, so... Prime Candidate Programme. This way. I wonder what... Prime Candidate... The Mannequin. Ah, oh, I don't like mannequins. Oh! Jesus. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's just... Yeah. We're in. Hello! Is it just in here? Somewhere? Okay. Yeah, all right. Maybe it's over this side. A mannequin. Um, hmm. If I were a mannequin, where would I be? Do. No. Um, would it maybe be up this weird? There it is. I can see it. There it is. Hey. Alright, mannequin, where are you? Oh no. Bloody hiss. Oh god, I don't like this angle. Oh, like it hurt, bro. Immensely. There you go, have a bit of that. Oh god. I do love these powers, you know. They're so fun. They're so fun. Come back here, you. Where'd he go? Where did he go? You're not allowed to keep existing. Oh, concrete to the face, baby. Bam. Anyone else? Any other Egypts? Hello? Okay, yep, there's somebody else. Where are you, dude? Oh, there you are. Well, there you go. Enjoy that. It's fun. Take a seat. Give me some of this health. Okay, thank you. All right, let's get our get our mannequin. Look at it. Oof, weird. Um, ah, oh, I don't like this angle. The angle, the angle of the dangle. Look at that. Is it whispering? Oh my. Okay. Can I? Can I not? Oh, uh, hello. Okay. What? The only thing creepier than one mannequin is a few dozen of the damn things. So what do we what do we do? Do we supposed to Nope. Okay. Um Okay, yeah, there's a lot of mannequins now. See, this is why I don't like mannequins, man. They're weird. Look at them. Look at them. Um what are we kind of looking for in terms of this, do you suppose? Are they in some kind of order? Oof, the angle, the angle freaks me out a little bit. Okay, um... Yeah... This is a little bit weird. Would it be... Hold on, do they? Oh my god, they do. Oh, that's weird. <gasps> Is there more of them out there? No. The heads turn, and I don't like that. Um. um there you are. No more mannequins. Yeah. Let's let's do away with the mannequins. Okay, mannequin procedures or mannequin supplement. Apparently we've already read the mannequin supplement. Okay, procedures. Waste mannequin AI7-KE. Containment procedures. No known procedures for preventing the item's effect. Update 3 slash 90. 
Lining the item's cell with the newly discovered black rock has yielded positive results. Test with other altered items. Description slash altered effect. A wire and fabric waste mannequin. The base and head are made of stained wood. The item duplicates. The trigger for this behaviour is unknown. No correlation can be found in either the number of duplications that manifest during an episode or the duration for which they last before disappearing. Okay, well that, yeah, that was relatively straightforward actually, thank god. Because, I don't like mannequins. Mannequins are so weird. Okay, so now we need to go to the sealed threshold corridor to get the flamingo. Ooh, flamingo. Uh, okay, so... Should we... We might be able to go this way, actually. Why not? Why not? My god. Oh, good lord. Alright, so we're looking for a flamingo. Where would a flamingo be, do you suppose? Where's the... hmm... This way? Through here? Oh! Can we bust through this? No. Alright, never mind. Um. hmm... Maybe down this way? Is it in here? Nope. Hmm. If I were a flamingo, where would I be? Hmm. Oh, wait. Is it in here? The light's kind of pink. Flamingos are pink, right? Aren't they? There you are. There you are. You, you. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's got to be an altered item. Okay, why? What? What's going on here? Okay. Whoa. All right. Okay, can we can we get through here? I suppose. Aha! Yes, we can because we have the floaty floaty. Come here, you stupid animal! Okay. Oh god, have we got to do the former thing again? Um. Oh hello, there he is. Another altered item. Oh oh. Oh god. Where did he go? Oh, savage. Savage, Jesse. Ow. Okay, I didn't need that. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, God. We got him. Got him! Get out! Damn! Do we do it? I never did like flamingos. Too pink. Too pink? I mean, it's a flamingo for crying out loud. Okay. Well, um, there we go. Okay. Well. Oh, all right. So, the rubber duck, which is in research. Okay. I mean, it's kind of fun getting rid of all these weird items. Well, not getting rid of them, but containing them again. I mean, I don't know what the former's deal is. Can we just not, boys? Not today. There we go. Kind of wrecked the gaff a little bit, but that's fine. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just as lovely as when I left it. Okay. Um, let's have a look at our... So it's this way. Ah. What's this again? A rubber duck. Probably only going to be a small thing, isn't it? Hello? Um. Hmm. Where are you, little... There you are. What can a rubber duck do? Oh, hello. 
Altered item number 52 AE analysis, session two. I will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item. First, a low voltage electric shock. No response. Next, Some I will the introduce there. heat via a standard Bunsen burner. That's how we open the door, I'm guessing. No response. Next, a series of solutions will be applied, each with a different value on the pH scale, from 0 to 14. It seems to be smoking a little bit. What? No response to any value. Next, I will attempt to communicate. Mm. Can you understand me? Can you understand my words? Quack, if you can understand my words. Quack, if you can understand no my words. Good God. This concludes session two. We'll need time to prepare further tests. Okay, so we need to get the door open. Hmm. Now, I'm guessing it has something to do with these symbols on the bottom, but what is the trigger? Huh, oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Um, hmm. Is there something, some way that we can get in there? Um, yeah. There you are. There you are. Some kind of service tunnel. Well, well okay, there's, there's mould here. By the looks of it. Lovely. Let's just cheese it over this way. Is there a way down there? Oh, no. Okay. <sighs> just look at the map. There you go. Look at the mini-map and it'll tell you tell you all sorts. Um, why is that so bright? God bless it. Whew. Why am I hearing a dog? What's this? Ooh, hey. Astral blip. Bloop. Bloop, bloop. Aha, here we go. Okay. Why has the duck turned its face now? Let's open that, just so I can make a quick exit. So, my greatest adversary, we meet at last. Alright. What? Disappearing ducks. Great. It was the duck I heard? I thought it was a... What? I thought it was a dog. It sounded like a dog. Where do you go, you little weirdo? What? What? Is it outside? Where did he go? Where did he go? What? Oh, there you are, you little sod. What? Oh, d Don't you... Where did he go? Where did he go? Dude. Pack it in. Where are you, little turd? Oh my god, this bloody duck. Come. Dude. I will shoot you, duck. I am not averse to it. Oh god. Maybe we can... Oh, nearly. Nearly got it. Nearly got it. Where is it? Oh, you're over there, are you? Well... Come here! Got it. Come here, you little beast. Finally. No more quacking. <sighs> the rubber duck. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, not the missions. Good God. Okay, so... Oh, Pink Flamingo. We didn't read these, did we? Okay. Pink Flamingo AI46-KE Containment Procedure. No unique procedure required. Altered status is suspected, but unverified. Description slash altered effect. A plastic pink flamingo lawn ornament. Two steel prongs extend from its underside. 
The item is suspected to influence atmospheric physics, altering meteorological phenomena in the area. This effect is currently unconfirmed. Appendix. New altered effect has been observed. See file AI46.D for details. Ooh, wonder what that was. Okay. Rubber duck procedures. God bless it. Rubber duck. AI52-AE. Containment procedure. Direct contact with the item is not permitted. Safety gloves are required while handling. Description slash altered effect. Item is a yellow rubber duck bath toy from the 1950s. A single hole at the bottom allows air and water to flow in and out. The item makes a sound analogous to quacking. The item travels considerable distances with surprising speed. How it achieves this motion is unknown. The item forms a redacted of unknown purpose with anyone who makes direct physical contact with it and begins to follow them, quacking often. This has led to a researcher named Redacted entering cardiac arrest, though due to the individual's health issues, the matter may not be connected to the item's effect. Appendix. Item on loan to the research sector for further study. Hmm. Curious. Well, we know we can go back to Langston now because we have caught more of his runaways. What else have we got here? We've still got to do this. Can get the six pouches worn by Erish's old squad mates. We apparently need to talk to some plants and clear some more mould and clear some more mould and burn some trash. But and look after the plants again. These are all these are all um, Artie's things. But let's uh, let's go and see Langston and tell him the good news. <sighs> My god, that was a little bit of a to-do as well, wasn't it? Good grief. Okay, so... So... Is it... Can we get through... Okay. New director visits my exhibits or something. Langston. At least so. Every altered item on your list is now back in the Panopticon, safe and sound. That's a load off my mind. Missing altered items don't exactly reflect well on me, you know. Did they give you any trouble? The flamingo pulled me into the astral plane just like the fridge did. That same creature was there. Hmm. Hmm. I was looking over the old activity reports, and multiple items have been displaying much more destructive behavior in the past few weeks. There's some connection there, I bet, but that's a bit above my pay grade. Hmm. Well, something to keep an eye on. Yeah. And if I have any more runaways, I'll know just who to call. Uh, sure. This is my life now. All right, what's the situation? Can I get a situation report for the sector? Whew, okay, uh, we still have to perform a proper inventory of the cells. Lord knows how many altered items snuck out during all this. Staffing, <clears throat> we definitely lost some people. Uh, gonna have to hit those college career fairs, am I right? Huh. Hard to imagine the FBC at job fairs. The hiss are still tearing up the place faster than we can fix it, but the containment sector is stable. Ish. Considering the alternative, I'm happy with stable-ish. Yeah. Um. All right, dude. Well, I'll see you later, yeah, it's been emotional. I'll be here, like always. Yeah. All right, dude. Um, let's have a little peep, shall we? What else will we will be doing? I wonder how the FBC recruits people. Maybe it's a bit like the FBI or like MI6 or something. Maybe you have to be super clever. I don't know. Um, maybe we should we should deal with with Arish's old friends. We still gotta do Artie's things. I mean, we could we could always do Artie's things, couldn't we? I don't think he would he would be too annoyed with us if we if we only just get into it right now. Okay, let's have a look. So, is it any plants or just oh? The research. Research area. Okay, so we need to get a research. Um, yeah. Fine. Rock and roll, buckaroo. I wonder if we do all of Artie's things, whether he'll, I don't know, come back? Would he come back? I don't know how far away has he gone. Okay, so we need to go... Whoa. Um, how do we... How do we... Can we just, just cheese it on down? Ah, there you go. That'll do. We can float. I like to float. Talk we'll float. to the plants. Okay. Small talk was never really my strong suit. At what? least they can't talk back. Well, you hope, Jesse. What What should I say to them? The plants, for crying out loud. I mean, 
Is life green where you are? Oh, here we go. Okay. Sorry about the broom. Um, I hope your day has been productive, little plant. <laughs> that really works, huh? Yeah, I guess they need. They just need somebody to talk to them every now and then, maybe. Okay. Uh, is there another pl Oh, hey, I've never been in this bit. What's this? Oh, hello. Hubert, Black Rock Analysis. What's this? Okay, okay. God bless it. This one. Here we go. Federal Bureau of Control. Hi, Carla. Does it strike you as odd that Darling insists on having us appear in those bizarre videos of his? I mean, we just stand there. He doesn't even let us have lines or anything. Don't get me wrong. Beats a day in the lab. Plus, it's always great to work with you. Oh, yeah. I finished the comparative analysis of the two black rock samples you sent. The prism, or whatever you call it. I filed them in the usual place under C for Carla. A handy mnemonic device, right? Haha. <laughs> anyway, let me know if there's anything you want to discuss about the data. I'll gladly explain. Maybe we could chat about it over some drinks, or dinner even. I can't remember the last time I had a good steak. Maybe we could go out together after work sometime. I'm free tomorrow. All the best, Hubert. Okay, well, I mean... Budding romance and all that jazz. Maybe. Maybe. What's this? It looks like a toaster. It's a radio. Incoming copyright strike. Not that it matters to me. I'm not a monetized channel. And I've had a couple of them. Not copyright strikes, but you know like copyright flags when I'm uploading. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really affect anything at all. Oh dear, look at this. I hope those nasty hiss haven't been bothering you too much. Okay. We, we, we talk to the plant. The plant's, the plant's good. The plant's happy. Um, okay. So we just need to run around and find these plants. Hey. Okay, I can understand why this plant's not happy. I wish my leaves were as pretty as yours. Is that what we do? We just have to be really complimentary to the... To the... The plants. Anything in here? Ooh, there is something in here. Bah. I don't need it. Okay, there any more? Who would have thought that talking to plants could make them happy? What's going on in here? What's going on in here? Um, this doesn't look exactly healthy, does it? Where are we right now? Jesse, okay. What's all this? What is all this? It's like burnt. What the hell? Ooh, I don't like that. No, I do not. Okay, what's this? Threshold utility. Utilization of paranatural elements. Thresholds. Summary. Thresholds have always been sources of great inspiration and great challenge. When a new threshold manifests in the oldest house by Redacted, we never know what new discoveries it will provide to the Bureau, but we must always seize the opportunities. This report will examine the process of distinguishing th recent threshold events based on their utilitarian possibilities. The quarry bought Black Rock, one of our most invaluable discoveries. But if the mould has any scientific value, it has been difficult to find due to the lengths we must go to in fighting back the particularly prolific plant. These are very distinct cases and worth comparing as their study offers vastly different dangers and rewards. Refer to file 5-94-1284 for full report. Huh, yes, the mould. These are cool though. I've seen a building this evening. I went out for, for my, um, my dinner. And um, a building covered in walls like that. Really cool. Plant walls. Um, hmm. Where's... There's got to be some more plants somewhere. Any more plants that need a talking to? From the, the, the director? Um, okay. How very bizarre. Ah, is this one? Yep, here we go. Do you have a family? I have a brother. Okay. A lot. 
There you go. I don't know whether talking to plants works in real life. I know some people say you talk to them or you sing to them and they grow better. I don't know. I've only got one plant and it just seems to just keep going. You know, it lived in my bathroom for years. Often forgot to water it and yet somehow it stayed alive. I think probably from the steam from my shower. And it just, yeah, it's still going now. I've repotted it. It's you in my kitchen. I'm the director, but what does that mean? Yeah. I have no experience in leadership roles. I have no on-the-job training. Ah, but Jesse, you'll figure it out. Okay, plants, come on. There's one more of you somewhere that needs needs my expertise and guidance or my words. Maybe up the top here. No. Okay, Jesus. Talk about scare the life out of you. Jeez, Louie. Okay. Sorry about that, plant. Your chlorophyll really brings out the green in your leaves. Okay. That's all of them. But I kind of wish there were more. Really? They're good listeners. Well, I mean, the the, the plants, Jesse, they don't really have anything else to say. Okay, what else? Clear the mold, clear the mold. Maybe we shine a light on some plants. How do we do that? Uh, okay, there's a lot of places to go here. Operations, corridor, abandoned offices, and the AWE loading bay. My god! Alright, well, let's take a peep at our little map here. Hmm. Huh. Yes, we want to go up to that area there, near the Astral Exhibition. I wonder if you could get in there. That might be that might be quite good. If we go down here, is it through this way? Maybe? So down this way. And then can we... Hmm. Extra sensory lab. Ah, so it's up here. Is it? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, it's on the level above us, isn't it? Um, do we maybe need to go up again then? Uh, okay. Hey, I spotted that. We'll take it. Bah. Nothing of much use to us. Okay, is there anything else in here that we can have? Is there a way to get in there? Is that something that we need to get into? That looks like it, doesn't it? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, this way. Hey! Too bloody marvellous. Oh, hello. What's this? Another folder. Sensory tank purpose. What's what's that? Federal Bureau of Control. Darling here. Some of you were curious why I had these sensory deprivation tanks installed. I thought I'd shed some light on the subject. Maybe some of you have heard of Dr. Yoshimi Toki Tokui? The man behind the hugely popular guided imagery experience tapes. Apparently his tapes go beyond the normal meditative, meditative qualities of such things, but create genuine hallucinatory visions in some listeners, or so the reports say. We bought these tanks in to test Dr. Takui's tapes for ourselves. Plus, there may be some stress-relieving uses for the staff down the road. I think we could all benefit from some time in a dark and closed space, couldn't you? Don't you? If you have any more questions, feel free to stop by my office. You know where it is. All right. I mean, we're a bit of a bizarre one, darling. But, okay. Sensory deprivation tanks. Huh. Weird. What's this? Okay. Okay. Official findings report. The Dr. Yoshime Takui. Summary. Dr. Yoshime Tokui, a Japanese citizen residing in Tokyo, has produced a series of guided imagery experience audio recordings that have gained notable popularity around the globe. 
Due to his unusually swift rise in fame, along with reports of vivid redacted accompanying the use of his tapes, investigation sector staff were asked to look into Dr. Tokuyu's background. We, would, we found no past incidents with an altered occurrence, nor any evidence of involvement with an altered organisation. However, agents that attended a signing event reported redacted when hearing Dr. Tokuyu speak. We recommend that the research team obtain an audio recording of Dr. Tokuyu's voice and perform any and all relevant analyses. Based on the findings, the investigation sector will determine next steps regarding Dr. Tokuyu's Dr. Tokio, as well as his eligibility for the Prime Candidate Programme. Refer to file 7-42-9633 for full report. So are there more people like me and, well, like Jesse and, um, and Dylan? That's a little weird. Okay. Um, maybe we need to go, can we get in the Astral exhibit Exhibition, I suppose? Is that a thing we can go to? How do we get in there? This is ah, maybe this way. There you go, astral exhibition. I think we'd be able to get into that room from here. Oh, up again. Okay. Good God. Well, wait a minute. Is that open? Can we? No. Um, this is where Ball of Death was originally, wasn't it? I remember now. And we locked Ball of Death away, did we not? Because it's Ball of Death. Um, Hold on, it says that we're in it, but we're not in it. We're... what? This is weird. Bloody Ball of Death. Oof. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember this room. What the hell? That's the former! What? So they caught footage of it at least. I think it's just on a loop, okay. Ha! Huh. Well, that's that's interesting. Right, well, let's let's have a look here. Oh, we got ten on our abilities. I think we should probably unlock that because that might be quite handy. Yeah, there we go. We'll we'll upgrade our. Hmm. Our shield strength, yes, and our siege duration. Why not? Okay, right. Um, hmm. Well, let's just have a look here. So we're here. Um. Huh. So. Research division was where we started with these bloody plants. But where did that, where did that other place go? It's like the room disappeared. How bizarre. Hmm. I am Confucian. Is that astral exhibit? Oh, that's where we are now. Ha! <laughs> Stupid. I feel like we need to go up another level, maybe. I don't know. Maybe we do. Maybe we do. All right. Well, I don't know. I don't know, honestly. <sighs> what a what a what a day it's been. But we are going to leave it there for today, folks. Next time we will see if we can shine a light on the plants and get into that other hidden room. Hopefully we can do, because I want to explore everything, you know? See what we can find. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. <laughs>